Baseball at its best. It's the Los Angeles Angels against the Chicago White Sox. Coming at ya on 2K Sports. Will they be able to limit the bat of Carlos Quinton? Pepsi presents our starting lineup. Here's what Mike Socha's offense looks like. In our scouting report, John, Eric Ibar leading it off. Last time out a loss for the White Sox. That was a rare loss after a stretch of six W's in a row. Lined right at the second baseman. Beckham able to pull that one in. And a moment to check out the defensive alignment for the White Sox. Any scouting pick, Steve? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. First pitch, a fastball. That's in there for a strike. The hitter thought that ball was inside. It certainly wasn't low, and it looks like it was in there. Hit hard to second. Beckham. So Kendrick is down. Teams who've been piling up the home runs brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. In third, the Yankees. Fourth, the Angels. And we've got the Twins, who are number five. Well, two of the better home run hitting teams in baseball, so it's going to be critical to keep the ball down in the zone. The team that wins may be the one that keeps it in the ballpark. Bedard gets set and delivers. Morales taking it. It's in there. Swing and a shot to third. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. Doing the pitching, Scott Kazmer will be the starter for Anaheim. As he gets into this White Sox lineup, Steve, a little strategy. A good looking lefty on the mound right here against the lineup that can put some runs up on the board. So pretty even matchup. So it's going to come down to which side executes better than the other. Oftentimes we say good pitching can beat good hitting. Damon swings and misses for strike one. Well, you have to be ready for something hard, and this guy wasn't anticipating it. That's why he was late on that two seam fastball. Way down the line and left. That one, a one hopper off the wall. And he'll stop at second base, and it will be a double. Number 10, Alexi Ramirez. Well, it's so important for your team to get guys on base and in scoring position early in the inning. And that's exactly what he did with that double. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in runs scored, top five. Kazmer sets and throws. And it's 0-2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Ball is blasted, a long high drive, deep to center field. Out of here, a homer and a two-run shot. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. A great piece of hitting right there. He turns on that one, rotates the hips, and drives the ball. And that's going to give them the lead here and an early lead. I'm going to see if they can tack on a few more here in the first and put the pressure on. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. Bases are empty with no one out. Ground ball to his doors. And Canarco retired. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Now, John, anyone in particular we should keep an eye on? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now, leading the MLB in batting average. Got a chance to check out the Angels. Let's see where they're positioning themselves on defense. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. 
Oh. Well, solid defensively up the middle. Eric Ibar is a guy that can make every play defensively. He has terrific range and has all the ability and instincts to make plays. And he's in at second with a double. 1 0. A line drive towards short. And another. Wow, that hitting coach is smiling. Now Look at the hit leaders for this month that's on our State Farm leaderboard. Number 51. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI chance. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Kazmer sets and throws. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Now picked up three big base hits in the game last night. Swinging the bat very well. Swing and lined up the middle. And it gets through as Rios brings him across the plate. Now batting. 0-2 count. So you protect a pitch that's up. It's a little easier to do that. Absolutely. You can fight it off, punch it over the infielder's head. That time, solid piece of hitting. Chance to drive it a run, A.J. Pierzynski. Well, they definitely got a rhythm going right now. Each player feeding off the other. Okay, these guys are really swinging the sticks. They came out ready to hit today. No question about that. Yeah, if you're the pitcher, though, it's more like somebody's got a stick and he's poking you in the eye. And Kazmir is out in front. No balls and two strikes. Well, if he doesn't get somebody out soon here, Gary, I'm going to poke myself in the eye. These guys are taking advantage of every mistake he makes. That one is foul. And A.J. Przinski strikes out, unable to make contact on that pitch. A credit to pitcher right there. Good two-strike pitch down and away. Not much he could have done with that, even if he had made contact. Mark Tian looking to knock in a run. Right there in the top five in home runs. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Bounces up against the wall. He throws. And he will score from second base. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. Runners at second and third and two down. Kazmir sets and throws. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. One bounce onto the wall. And Rios comes in. And right behind him, the second run. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Well, he's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing. And even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. First pitch on the way to Damon. Good pitch from Casimir. Swung on and missed. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. And that's out number three. Wow, they deal some serious damage. First inning really starting out with a bang. The White Sox lead it six to nothing. Out of the order due to bat next. Leading it off, Hideki Matsui. Designated hitter, number 55, Hideki Matsui. Bedard gets set and delivers. Strike Called strike on one. It's a nice location with that fastball down in the zone. If he makes contact, it's going to be a ground ball. ball and one. misses one and one. That misses down in the zone, two and one. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. 2-1 two. Two, pitch, and he watches the fastball go by for strike two. That one is hit well. Quentin's there. Retiring Matsui. What a way. And it's one Rivera now. Three for eight lifetime record against Bedard. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. 
I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. Fouled off. Still 0-2. Well, with the way we keep track of pitch counts right now, you know 0-2, the pitcher wants to put him away. The fact that he has to throw another pitch just tells you how defensive a swing the hitter had to keep it going. Bedard gets set and delivers. On the ground to first. And he steps on first. That's the second out. Number 44. It's going to be Napoli. Napoli. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focused. Ball. Just missed with the fastball. 1 0. He's gone 2 for 6 against Bedard. Now the 1 0 pitch. 1 0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1 1. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Napoli will file that one away. And Mike Napoli doesn't pull the trigger. That'll be strike three. And they're held in check here in this half inning. The shutout is still in progress here at U.S. Cellular Field. All lit up here at U.S. Cellular Field on this beautiful night for the game. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. One of the best batting averages in the league. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. 0-1, Kazmir kicks and delivers. And it's 0-2, Alexei Ramirez. Going to have to protect now. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ballgame. There's a swing and a high drive down the left field line. Gone! A home run! Now this pitch low and in, and he had no problem catching up to it. Get that bat around, keep those hands behind. He did. Nice hit. And here's Paul Canerco. And he starts Canerco out. Good pitch from Casimir. Swung on and missed. Sometimes we talk about poor pitching performances. When you get them, you get monster offensive output, and that's what's happening. Well, no question. And when you get the home runs, I mean, it just sends such a message. That's why you get runners on base. With this kind of power, you can blow teams out. And Paul Canerco strikes out. Could not make contact. K-Cam's going to show us the four-seam fastball here. And we'll get to see Todd Wellemeyer pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. I don't see why you do this. He's pitching very well out there, and all this does is burn your bullpen. It may not hurt you today, but it could hurt you tomorrow. Hit hard on the ground to short. Though Quinton is retired. Now we have a look at the league leaders for the best on base percentage. The table setters brought to you by State Farm. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners. And these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and lead to a run scored. Well hit towards the middle. Throws on to first in time to retire the side. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball. And if you're just joining our 2K Sports Major League Baseball broadcast with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. It's Bobby Abreu to lead off. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Fielded by Ramirez. And that'll retire Abreu. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. And that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. Bedard gets set and delivers. Fielded by Ramirez. Over to Canerco. Two away. 
third base. Well, talk about settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. And we've got Asturias batting. 270 lifetime batting average against the White Sox. Hit sharply towards the hole. And the tag is applied. Side retired. Amazingly fast inning. Uh, outs here coming quickly. Three pitches. None other than Ozzy. That's Ozzy Guillen. Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. And Alex Rios up. And for RBIs, he's one of the best in the league. And Abreu loves that one. That's one away. First half of the season almost completed. Here's a pre All Star break look at the Western Division standings, courtesy of State Farm. First place, the Angels. The Mariners, second place. A's third. And it's the Rangers in fourth. That first pitch was fouled off. It's 0 1. Well, Wellemeyer gets him right there. That's strike two. A great changeup right there. You see how far out in front of it he is? Hot shot towards the hole. That brings up Mark Tian. Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where he was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Rivera to field this one. Two down here in the inning. Here are the teams with the highest batting averages for this month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Twins. Third, the Yankees. A is fourth. And for the Orioles, they are fifth. Now some of the best hitting teams in baseball right there. Teams that understand, put the ball in play. Don't try to do too much. Use what the pitcher gives you and pick up a base hit. First pitch on the way. Hard grounded to short. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. No runs at a base hit. They leave one man on at first. White Sox summit. The Angels nothing. Eric Ibar leading it off. Shortstop number two. Eric And the first pitch. And he takes a called strike. Okay, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now. High bar fouls it off again. Bedard gets set and delivers on the ground to short and Ibar is retired and it's Howie Kendrick in the box now he's got the best average in the division and he starts Kendrick out that's a foul ball well, I said we've seen some great plays on the field today and how about some great plays by the fans as well Gary look at the section a standing ovation they're all up over there I want to see the peanut guy make a diving catch now let's go swung on and a ground at a first gets through that's the team's first hit he's going to try to stretch it now coming to bat a good piece of hitting right there with one out now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first it's Morales at the plate. This is his fifth year in the league. Bedard gets set and delivers. Hit in the air, in right, foul territory. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. The pitch. Morales fouls off another. Towards the middle. Bedard, two away, too late, and he is safe at second. With a runner in scoring position, here's the bat of Hideki Matsui. Lifetime nine for 22 against Bedard. Matsui takes a called strike. That's a good, hard fastball right there. Let's see if he comes back with another one now. And this is bounced foul to the left side. Now swinging a shot towards second. 
Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The White Sox still ahead. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. And one of the top ten averages right now. Johnny Damon. First pitch on the way to Damon. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And Rivera tracks it down. We have a moment to check out the State Farm leaderboard for most extra base hits this month. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. He's already homered twice in this one. Gary, okay, they're having a big offensive day. I think that's pretty obvious, but clearly one of the major components of this offense are his at-bats. I mean, two home runs. He's swinging the bat very well. Looks so comfortable at the plate. On the way. Couldn't get around in time. 0-1. Numbers over his career, 255 off the Angels. Going on and miss behind now, 0 and 2. The hitter now needs to protect the plate. Think about going right back up the middle. You're out. Swing and a miss, now slider two back. down. With the Chicago White Here's the slider First coming base. right at you in K camp. Get a better look at that. Well, sometimes you get fooled so badly, there's just nothing else you can do but hope and pray that you put the ball in play, hopefully foul, to get another pitch to hit. And he starts Canerco out. Swing and a rocket towards short. This one into the gap, rolling towards the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Hey, look, you'd love to see him hit a double earlier in the inning when there's no outs or even one out, but you're going to take anything you can get with two outs. Let's see if they can get another two. Now a swing, a ball hit deep into right center field. Goodbye, home run, a two-run digger. Well, this one's up in his eyes, up out of the zone. Most hitters will take this pitch. He swings at it, well, he just hits it out of the ballpark. I guarantee you the pitcher wishes he had taken that pitch. And Beckham's in the box. Two outs and nobody on. Jordan Beckham. And the first pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. In the top ten in hits. Runner on first. Two away. First pitch. Well hit towards the middle. And that'll get him aboard. They are on a roll. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in it back here. He's so locked in this year. Has to drive it a run, AJ Pierzynski. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Two men on and two men out. Swings and hits this one deep down the line and left. Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he scores from second base. Now coming to bat. Well, this is unbelievable. I mean, this guy's completely lost it out there now. They've strung together five consecutive hits against him. Clearly, he's run out of gas. Runners at second and third with two out. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Swings on that first pitch. Misses the fastball. 0-1. He's hit 283 lifetime off the Angels. And Napoli spotting the pitch. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Well, he clearly fooled him right there. He had him thinking fastball, and he pulled the string on it. Got him a swing right through it. The pitch. Line towards second. And that'll do it as Kendrick puts it away. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox. And Juan Rivera to bat. Left fielder, number 20, Juan Rivera. Bedard gets set and delivers. And he checks his swing there, but it's in there for a strike, 0-1. Hot shot towards the hole. That retires Rivera. Coming up in the All-Star break, here's what the Central Division race is looking like, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first, Twins in the second spot, 
third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. The uh, Chicago White Sox on fire right now, back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before, and now they're doing everything right. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Swung on, line softly towards center. And it's through. Base hit for Napoli. That's going to bring up Bobby Abreu. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what. You have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate and took advantage of it. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And that's a base hit. Gets down in front of him. Napoli going towards third. They apply the tag. He is out at third. Well, it's a great pitch right there. The pitcher wanted the double play. He goes down in the zone, but they're not able to get the runner at second. And that's one Steve where the pitcher actually should have won that battle, but isn't lucky enough to get a smash to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Seven pitches, and it's done. That's how you save your arm and go deep into a game. The shutout continues in Chicago. Jim tell me one for two in the ball game. There's two RBIs here, Gary, and obviously a big part of this team's offense today. That's why they're winning. Tome gets in. Here's the first delivery. Swing sits this one pretty well. Deep right center. And Abreu is going to play it. And he gets over and grabs it with the light. Chicago White Sox. Left fielder. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. Johnny Damon. Nobody on base. One away. A swing line to left center. Into the alleyway. He'll likely get extra bases on this. And he ends up at second. That's a double. Well, it's a pretty good pitch to hit right here, and he gets the good part of the bat on the ball. Now he's in scoring position with just one out. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Two for three thus far. But Gary, he's been an absolute nemesis today. I mean, he's so locked in right now. And two home runs in this one, and obviously, they got a chance to run away with it. And the throw. And here's Damon going to try to score. And the run is in. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. And on second, one away. And he starts Canerco out. It's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Well, great movement on that two-seamer right there. Had him way out on his front foot. Oh, well, Wellemeyer gets him right there. That's strike two. Here's the pitch. Slider swung out and missed. Two down. But good, great confidence right there in his stuff. Could have wasted a pitch right there, but he figured, why worry? It's a great job of finishing off the batter in a hurry. Never got a chance to see much. First pitch to Quinton. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Only one career at bat. That's a one off Wallemeyer. There's a bullet towards third. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. And Ramirez is home. Stepping up to the plate. Oh, with that big hit right there, he only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. It's going to be David Weathers on the mound. They've decided it was time to make a change here. I'm sure they didn't set out thinking, hey, let's pitch all our bullpen guys this early in the game. What do you think, Gary? I don't know. They need this guy to hold down the fort and see if he can't give him some innings. Sinker swung on missed 0 and 1. 
Well, he got a little over anxious on that last sinker and swings and misses. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Hit hard to second. Played by Kendrick. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. They pick up two, three hits, strand a man. White Sox continue to run away with this. It is Mike Socia you're looking at. He knows very well the pitching is uh, not out there on the hill. It's not been close to what they needed in this ball game. So they're going to have to count on some big at bats. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 1. Gary, he's not felt any pressure out there on the mound. The defense has not felt that much pressure either. I mean, only one runner left on base, and you know we're moving through the middle part of this ball game. So you know they're doing a nice job shutting down this offense. And he'll step on first for out number one. It's Ibar at the plate. One for four, lifetime against Bedard. Bedard gets set and delivers. That's a hit foul by Ibar. Strike that time, and it's 0-2. I hey, look locked in last night the way he swung the bat. Good stroke, good contact. See if he can't get it going again today to add those two hits from yesterday. Now, batting, Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Well, 90 miles per hour on the gun, but still not much movement. And he starts Kendrick out. And that finds the outside corner for strike one. Oh, that's a quality fastball right there. Just pounding the strike zone down and away. He had no chance to put that one in play. Swings and hits this one. Going to be fielded by Rios. Now that batting. will bring up Kendry Morales. First base. Grounded first out eight. his last time up. Kendry two outs Morales. and a man on first. First pitch to Morales. Strike one. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He looked like he was looking for a pitch out over the plate. That fastball down and in locked him up a little bit. And that is in there. Morales, now base hit. The Boy, they've opened Angels the door. Can Anaheim go through it? Hitter, number 55. Well, not a bad pitch Adetti, right there, Matsui. down and away in the strike zone. But this guy absolutely loves that pitch in that spot. And he drove that ball to get on base. One. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. No balls, one strike. Here's Bedard. And that's a strike. Matsui now will have to protect that plate. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. Throws to second. That'll be a force out and the third out. So they're shut down again. That's six shutout innings so far. The Angels still looking for... And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Clark. Now, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. The pitch, a smash. Tell it goodbye. They add to the lead. Man, what a big day these guys are having. It's going to be Przinsky. Base is empty and no outs. Number 12. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Well, you viewers at home, if you'd like to see a lot of fireworks, hang in because right now it's just all over this yard. Now the power being shown off here. Another home run, and it's a highlight reel of power. Big swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out, one down. When you love what he did right there, there's no time wasted. Let's go right after him and sit him down. That's about keeping a hitter off balance, and he certainly did there. Well, just a hello, how you doing, and see you later. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. So Jim tell me coming up. Month four of the baseball season. Let's take a look at the Angels and what they have in store. Thursday they will finish up the Chicago series a meeting against another team in the American League West family the Athletics Northern California in Oakland it will be a three game series then looking for a little revenge from a previous series against a tough team the Seattle Mariners. One out runner on at first. 
And here's the delivery. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Now he's coming off of a game last night, a little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. Sinker's taken, strike three called, out number two. Well, just a great sequence of pitches. Three good choices by the pitcher and the catcher, and he finishes them off quickly. All pitchers love that. Those are short at-bats. You get it done in a hurry. And it's Johnny Damon. What a year for him. Top five in homers. First pitch on the way to Damon. He swings and drives this one. That's going to one-hop off the wall. Tien's on his way home. The throw. He's in there. Wow, tremendous hustle all the way from first. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Catcher can't control it. On the way. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Tough spot for the hitter right here. Down 0-2. You got to fall off that tough pitch if you have to. There's a swing. Line drive. Center field. And it gets down. Hit after hit. They just keep on coming. He's got four today. Oh, well, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. First in doubles. Third most in hits. Uh, he, you'll notice he's also ranked in the top five in batting average. A guy that puts it in play, finds holes, and finds a way to get himself on base. And here's Paul Canerco well, leading the league in home runs. And he starts Canerco out. And that's by him 0-1. Pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. Behind now 0-2. Apparently he's looking for something a lot harder than that four-seam fastball. I don't know what else he has because he's way out in front. Now swing and a shot toward second. Throws to first side is retired. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. The five, six, seven hitters coming up. Here's a look at Ozzy. Ozzy Gian. Satisfied manager, I think, right now. He's got the ball club in a pretty good spot. Bedard gets set and delivers. Had a big rip at that one and falls behind 0-1. Look okay, here, listen, he's, he's made pitches. He's at, they've had a few base runners on against them, no question about it. They've got a few hits. But he's, not, he's been able to keep them from putting hit after hit after hit together. He's kept them off the scoreboard and let his defense do the work. Strikes him out. We have said it more than once today, but he continues to look extremely sharp, Steve. He's so locked in. You, you wonder how long he can keep it going. I haven't seen anybody pitch like this in a long time. It's going to be Wilson now. Base is empty. One out. And Bernard has him 0-1. That one a called strike. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Wow. It's fouled away. Now Przinsky positions himself. That one's too low, Bedard missing. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone, around the knees or lower, it's great location and, believe me, very difficult to hit. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. Couldn't make a better two-strike pitch right there. He's working well with the catcher, hitting his spot, powering that fastball down and away. Fastball in there for a called strike. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. And it's 0-2. Abreu probably won't try and pull here. Let's see if they go right at him or if they're going to waste a pitch. They're way ahead right now. Struck him out. And now that's seven. Count them seven shutout innings going. I think he's got the stuff to do it, Gary. I think he wants to finish the rest of this game. He's got the legs. And a frustrated lineup indeed. 
Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. He is just a triple shy of the cycle now. Well, it's the toughest leg of the cycle to get, but if he hits it into the gap, look at him run. And he gets this one by him on one. Over his lifetime, 293 off the angel. This ball is hammered deep right as he retreats back for it and gets the out. Well, I followed the scouting reports. They moved the outfielders back before the play, and they were in exactly the right position to be able to make the catch. Good coaching. And here's the first one. Watches a fastball that's in there, 0-1. Well, when you throw the fastball, that's where you want it to go. Now you can elevate a pitch next time around. David Weathers gets ahead, 0-2. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. So Alex Rios, he'll try and keep it going. Had a home run back in the sixth. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Well, this guy has some great late-breaking sink on his fastball. It's his output. This is a one hopper off the wall. The lineup's crossing home the most. We look at our state farm leaderboard. Run scored over the last 10. The White Sox number one. The Twins in second. In third, the Indians. Fourth, the Rays. And fifth best, the A's. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Throws on to first, side is retired. Save your arm, do it by pitching only eight times in one inning, three outs. And we'll see the Angels. Heron in the box. He's going to get us started, eighth inning. Number 25, Kanakoa Heron. First pitch on the way. And Bernard has him 0-1, that one a called strike. Well, what an outstanding effort uh, by the pitcher today. I mean, he has just been on top of his game, making the pitches, and offensively, they just have not been able to back hits up with other hits to mount the rally. They've been held scoreless here today. Swing and a foul straight back. Brings him up. You talk about dominance in a baseball game, you're seeing it here on the mound. I tell you, there's not a hitter in this lineup that has a clue how to hit this guy. What he wants now is that shot out. And the first pitch. And it's fouled away. And Eric Bedard delivers strike two. He's in control in this A.B. Uh, great stuff from the pitcher. Now he's ahead 0-2. He can go in so many different directions. He really tied him up and made him look bad on that one. And with that strikeout, he's just four outs away from a complete game shutout. Now he's so locked in. He's in the zone right now. I think he can handle it. The first pitch. Fastball swung out and missed. 0-1. Bedard gets set and delivers. And that's a strike. Eric Ibar. Now he's going to be behind in the count. This is the go-to pitch for many pitchers in the major league. The fastball down and away. When in doubt, that's where you go. And it's in there. Base hit. So Howie Kendrick will come up now. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. They finish up this Los Angeles series on Thursday. They stay home for another team series. The Kansas City Royals. That gets underway on Friday night. Following that, it'll be a road series to play the Twins and their hitter, Delman Young. So, some challenges in store for sure. At the belt, the 1-0. Swung and a ground ball to third. Go in time. Forces him at second for the third out. And he'll head back to the dugout knowing three outs, and he's got himself a shutout. He's got it. I think the way he's pitching, I think he's going to go all the way. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Kruk, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0-1. 
David Weathers gets ahead 0 and 2. Well, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. Big swing misses on the changeup. Struck him out one away. Well, it seemed like he made it easy. Three pitches, big strikeout. Can't get rid of a guy any quicker than that. Only took three and he's gone. Base is empty with one away. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. This one swung on and driven hard. And Abreu gloves that one. And it's Johnny Damon. Had a double his last time up. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Well, he just continues to swing a hot bat in this one. Is that four hits for him now? Yes, it is. A runner on first with two outs. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0 and 1. Well, you know what? I mean, it hasn't been flawless, but so far, they'll take it. Less base runners than outs in an inning for a change. David Weathers gets ahead, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss gets away. He's heading for first. There's the throw. And there's the throw down to first base, and they got him. Nice play by the. As Mike Sosha looks on, trying to feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. Morales makes contact. That'll be fouled away. Bedard gets set and delivers. Morales taking it. It's in there. They just have not been able to mount any offensive opportunities in this one. I mean, two runners left on base. We're in the ninth You're inning out. here, so this has been all about pitching. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches up, down. See you later. He's already back at the bench. Here's Matsui's first look. Hot shot towards the hole. And he'll be tagged out at first base. Left fielder. And it's Juan Rivera at the plate. He'll be seeking his first hit of the game. Not a lot of luck so far. Bedard gets him to swing and a miss for a strike. Well, that pitch right there, he just blew it right by the hitter. Swung late. Taps this one foul off to the left. Swung on grounder. This might be it. And that'll do it, everybody. That's out number three. This ball game over. Well, it went a great one here today, Gary, and it's all because of the pitching. Outstanding pitching really leading them to victory. Now for our Pepsi Clutch performer. No surprise. you got to pick this one. Well, you know, when you're facing a tough pitcher, it doesn't take long to realize that we're in for a tough day. And this team found out very early how tough this pitcher was going to be on them in this game. He's a top flight starter, but he had everything going and mowed down this lineup. And this sends a message to the rest of the league also that this guy is for real and ready to go. And we got to see a terrific performance out of their starter, and he was able to ride that one on to victory. Well, an outstanding effort. He had everything working today, the good stuff and location to shut down the opponent. This is Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time, as good as we did. Then you're all set. See you next time.